Oh no, this is not good because it's so relatable. Here comes the drama. Bob doesn't like to be involved with drama. And you know, it makes sense because all his life has been revolved around drama. And Eliza is like the epitome of drama and she's pregnant by who? Welcome back to my channel today and we are doing a brand new episode of the Sims 4 Discovery University miniseries where Bob Pancakes goes off to the University of Brychester in the language and literature degree path to soon to become a lawyer in the wonderful world of Brychester slash Willow Creek. But you guys, it's been a long time since we actually at last recorded an episode or an LP or a video in a very long time because it's related to like, you know, university of this you know, current topic. I've been in university for about six years and I've been struggling with a lot of things and I'm officially graduated. So I have more time to sit down, relax, record videos and live stream all the time. So I'm, I'm more fully aware of what I have to do and to better myself, but also kind of create content that I enjoy. And hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the new content that I'll be putting out in the next couple of days or, you know, from now on, I will be promoting and creating new content. Either way, we're going to hop into this video because I have a lot to talk about my friends because today we are in Brychester and the only reason why is because good old fashioned Bob Pancakes and Angela Pleasant decided that, you know, it was time to move away from the whole hustle and bustle of Willow Creek and the, you know, I felt that it felt it was like too calm over there. And since Iggy was like, you know, already aging up and kind of, you know, deciding where he wanted to go to college and everything, um, I really felt that it was time for them to move and move away to like a different area of their lives. And so Bob and Angela decided to pack up their things, pack up Iggy stuff and move off to Brychester. And I recently recorded a lovely speed build yesterday. If you guys want to check it out, I will link it down below, but I built them a new house because I felt like they needed something to call their own and not really have the whole idea of all Eliza and like, you know, a little bit of Bob. So being able to sprinkle a little bit of Angela, Bob and Iggy all collectively like equal in one house felt really needed. And I was able to utilize their budget that they kind of accumulated over the passive time of, you know, Bob having a career in the, uh, you know, culinary career, but also selling all of the house furniture in their previous home in Willow Creek. And ever since like, you know, Angela kind of moved away from Lilith and living with her parents in um, Willow Creek, she felt that she needed, you know, also separate from that life of, you know, the whole rich and, you know, crazy, crazy, no, like non-emotional mother and, you know, very sketchy and weird type of dad. So she wanted to be her own person. And so did Bob. And I'm kind of glad that they're, you know, living by themselves and living together. And now that Iggy's, you know, fully grown, he's officially has an A in high school. He is also trying to see what he really wants to do with his life, to be honest. He's applied to university already he's already put out his application like he's very very tense and nervous like awaiting university acceptance the stress of waiting for a university application results is mandating his whole future is writing on this acceptance letter like it really is and like for the next three days he's gonna be so like nervous and like i not know how to really feel so he the all pressure is on him and trying to figure out if he wants to go into the culinary, you know, track like his father did when he was a little bit younger, or if he wants to go and pursue his dreams as a musical genius, because his traits kind of reflect of what he really wants to do. Like he's really good at charisma and, you know, he likes cooking because his father forced him a little bit to do it. He also likes writing, but he's not really like that knowledgeable in like the whole music track, but he's had that life of, you know, creativity and music has always been his passion, but never really actually shown it in his skills because his father was like pressuring him saying, hey, Iggy, I know, I know you love music. I know you love the arts and everything, but I really want you to like go towards the family business of being a chef or being in the culinary career. And I honestly believe that maybe all that pressure that Bob put on Iggy felt a little bit too much and kind of swayed his decision of what he wanted to do was for the rest of his life. So ever since, you know, Angela kind of came into the picture, Angela, she's she's going to be a painter extraordinaire. And she's also recently graduated and she's already in level eight of her career. And so the fact that she's like, you know, artsy and like, you know, very creative, Angela kind of also helped Iggy to, you know, you know, pursue things on your own and not 
you know, be persuaded by other people's decisions just so you can make them happy. Like, make yourself happy and you'll have, like, a better life. So, I think Angela is, like, doing good and is, like, making Iggy more happier, which I can definitely see it. But Bob needs to come back home. He's overwhelmed. He's having the chills from old cold weather. Has a temper. He's going through a lot. Like, ever since he recently graduated he's also has gone through a lot in his life was being divorced from eliza moving away from his like humble abode home in willow creek and and like you know stepping into the right direction of his life it's been a lot for him but i would say that maybe it's for the best and hopefully you know with iggy going to college whether it's brightchester or foxbury things can definitely you know be good for them and also for Angela and also for Bob, but mostly for Iggy because he's going somewhere that he hasn't gone before. Like, this is like the first time he's ever, you know, stepped foot out of his house outside of his parents, you know, guidance. And it's like, you know, he's like, he's being his own person. It's so weird, but so great for him. Like, I'm really, really happy. Like, his face is like, I'm like fully like very committed and very, very happy that he's truly happy. And Bob is happy too. But as for Iggy's um, relationship with uh, Eliza, it, it's not so well. Like, it's not a really good one. They're, even though it's his mother and, you know, she is what she is, they're not having the best relationship. But I'm going to invite her out over here for Harvest Fest just because, I mean, why not? And I feel like it would be perfect for, you know, for, Ange for Eliza just to be around the family, be around Iggy, because since... Eliza didn't really get to see Iggy as much as she used to when he was younger, but it just allows them to just be more closer than ever. I'm also going to invite over um, Genesis as well for Harvest Fest. So once he does that, I'm going to go ahead and set the table for Triangle Fancy Fancy. Oh, why is Bob sad? Wait, things were just fine. Oh, oh no. This is not good because it's so relatable. Here comes the drama. Bob doesn't like to be involved with drama. And, you know, it makes sense because all his life has been revolved around drama. And Eliza is like the epitome of drama. And she's pregnant by who? Oh no. Who's Corey? I don't know who that is. Um, But Eliza's pregnant. Oh my. That is definitely interesting for sure. Oh, we got to know who she's pregnant by, but we're going to definitely like ask our mother like, hey, mom, I haven't seen you in so long. How you been? What have you been up to? I've missed you so, so much. But we're going to ask her like when her due date is and like, because we're going to be a stepbrother, which is so weird, but also like, kind of cool at the same time, because maybe this will like allow us to understand like, oh, maybe she's like, you know, I don't know, like forgiving, but. She's, like, looking forward to the whole idea of, like, expanding the family. Man, poor Bob. He's gone through so much in his life. And I kind of want to decorate for Harvest Fest, too. So I might go to actually going to build one and get the decorating unboxing so we can have Iggy set up the house for decorations and make it look festive. Because after Harvest Fest, it's going to be, I believe it's going to be a winter fest, I believe. That's what I'm pretty sure it will be. But let's go ahead and get this thing situated here. I might put it, like, right around... Mm, we'll be able to get to it i don't know but we're gonna put it right here it's good enough but let's put it there hopefully this will like look decently good but icky let's have you go ahead you know talk to eliza for a little bit see what she's what she's up to and i guess bob is like so upset he's not want to come down but we're gonna put up our decorations Ooh! but this is the outside of our house and I kind of like it. It's up on the gallery if you guys want to download it. And I really like the whole vibe of it. Like, it's very, you know, bright history. And when building it, I wanted to keep it the same aesthetic of building architecture style around the whole idea of, like, you know, it's historical and it's, like, a very, you know, you know, not too, too crazy. But, like, it still has that vibe to it. But I need to see who eliza's not married to anyone but she's pregnant but who is she pregnant by i guess we can ask her when her due date is because i'm kind of curious about that but where did iggy go oh he want to go take a shower because he's smelly well that's okay but i'm gonna actually have um iggy sneak um genesis upstairs and ask actually no we're gonna ask her to be her uh the girlfriend hopefully she accepts and says yes i mean why not are you serious? Iggy has a picky eater face at this current moment. He's a natural cook and a light eater. <sighs> Great. Just what I needed. Another like thing to like, oh, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. 
I mean, I'm not all right with it, but I'm like, why did it have to be like today? I didn't want this to happen, but it's kind of nice to know that with Iggy can live in his life the way he wants to live it and not have to like always please his father. It's kind of nice to see that he has a relationship that he can call his own and be happy about it and no one will judge him for it. So hopefully like in the next couple of days, we'll be able to get like some type of like insight of when he's going to get an application, when it's going to really actually, you know, be truly accepted. Like it could happen tomorrow. It could happen in the next couple of days. Like I really do not know. But until that happens, we'll, we'll definitely see. I'm going to hold some hands. But I do want to probably, I do want to skip until like the next couple of days until Iggy gets his acceptance letter because I, I want to see where he goes and I definitely want to kind of put him towards that and kind of that, that same day when we get accepted or or not accepted, I do want to hold the wedding and kind of like put on a ce celebration saying a wedding and then also, you know, a celebration. So I'm going to go to the calendar and we have like two talent showcases, which is a little bit weird. I don't know why. Oh, it's prank day on Sunday. That's very, that's even weirder. Why do we have two Harvest Fests? I don't get that, but we have a house party. Interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. I'm going to cancel that one, but I'm going to also do... I might just put it on Saturday because the Saturday wedding seems kind of cool. And Iggy's birthday is on Monday, so I don't want to put two events on the same day. So I'm going to put it on for, for Saturday because I think that seems perfect. So he can either be accepted on Saturday or, you know, on Sunday. Either way, we're having like a celebration, which would be really good. Wait, you must be engaged to get in, get married. I thought we were engaged. I know I proposed. Uh, you know, it's fine. Well, we can always do it in the morning. It's okay. Because I want to have like a good sunset engagement or a morning, like a morning engagement. But we're going to go ahead and head to bed, I guess, for the night and like rest up. But we're going to have everyone just go home now and put this in the fridge for later. But it's a good thing that everyone's leaving. But where's Eliza? I think she already left because she was feeling a little bit tired earlier. So I guess she just went home early, which is totally okay. But I'm going to go ahead to bed and I will pick up back in the morning and uh, see what we can do about that proposal, but also kind of see what we can do about our application. Hopefully we'll be able to accept it tomorrow because that's what I really want to happen. Alrighty guys, so we are back and it is the morning time and Iggy Pancakes is of course making their famous good old fashioned pancakes for the good old fam bam today, which is kind of nice because again I say he is pretty talented when it comes to cooking. Level three, um, actually level four now. He's multi-talented, which is really, really great. But I'm gonna actually have him go ahead and probably set the table for breakfast, like a casual one, probably like red, most likely. But Bob and a lot, like Bob and Angela are both upstairs. Angela, she should be going to the bathroom, actually, because she gotta pee like a champion. But Bob is in the mirror, of course, boosting up his confidence, getting ready for the day. He actually has work today, too. He is going to be going to work from home on today on Friday as a private attorney. He needs to get to level eight in the research and debate skill and then research case law and then guest speak at the university about a law, which we can definitely do that today and probably like later a bit like throughout the day we'll probably end up going to propose to her but bob is going to do a little sneaky sneaky and saying so angela i know we've been around i know you've been we've been in our lives for so so long we've had difficult you know family relationships and you know now that we're together living together in brightchester i think it's time for our relationship to go to the next step and in my mind i feel like angela and uh, you know bob kind of have like that similar, you know, you know, vibe saying, yeah, maybe it's, it's time for us to go into the next direction and next step into our lives just to see, you know, how things go. And I definitely can see them for sure getting married and, you know, being together forever. But let's actually ask her. I wish you could ask like, you know, about do you want to get married or whatever, but we're going to... I don't know. Oh, recite a love poem? Maybe. Oh, poor Angela. She's on her period. It's okay. But it's really nice. I like that. Oh, Bob. Oh, that's so nice. They're both very passionate. She's very passionate 
And Bob is very, you know, he's very fearful because he's, you know, boosts self his confidence, right smile because he brushed his teeth. He's like living the life of like, he's living life on the edge right now. And he's like so, 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 so happy. But let's have him go and change his clothing real quick. And I'm going to have him go and propose to Angela right out on the front porch on the outside, like right here. Because I want them to propose together. But I also just kind of want to have a, a good old fashioned, you know, fun proposal. You know, Angela, if you want to come out here, please. And thank you. Get down on one knee. She's feeling a bit emotional. But, you know, hey, you can make her day feel better. Okay. The moment of truth, folks. Uh -huh. I want pictures. I want pictures. Oh, look at that. That's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, look at that. She said yes. Oh, look at that. She looks so happy. Oh, oh, wait. I want pictures. I need all the pictures so badly. I want all the memories so I can look back at this and oh, they were once so happy. <laughs> Let's hope they stay that way because if they don't say remain happy, I'm going to be livid. But he's still like desperate for fun. That's a bit weird. Maybe you can have him slack off, but make some friends for why not. But now that they're engaged to be married, oh, there's the male lady. <gasps> Wait, well that, <gasps> did you just say talk to the hand? Uh, I don't think so. But could this be Iggy's like application for, um, for university? Oh, I want to wait until he comes back, comes back home from, from school to get the mail. But let's go and have Angela since she doesn't have work until like tomorrow, which is like totally okay. I guess we can have her just go and paint for a little bit. And while Bob is out and about doing his, you know, good old fashioned lecturing and talking about law. But let's make a figure painting. And then Bob, let's have you go ahead and travel out for a bit and get yourself situated for your job. Because the fact that he's in the law career and like doing his like little thing of, you know, helping other students and being who he wants to be is really, really nice. So we're going to go over to the Darby Den Reno and probably grab some lunch while we're there, maybe, most likely. We're not going to invite anyone with us because who would we invite? But what did it say for his job? Oh, guest speak at university about law. Oh, so guest speak. Okay, so we can go over here and do, oh, visit university law class. Wait a minute. How do we do it again? Wait, it says click on the classroom at, at either university. Use the phone. Oh, to guest speak about law. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Oh, hello, Eden. What's up? But we're going to go to our phone, apparently, and we have to find guest speaking. And this is definitely new. Oh, negotiate bonus for private attorney. Oh, I will do that later. But visit university law class. Yes. So hopefully this will allow us to kind of understand a little bit more. <gasps> you met Amber at school. Oh, that's really nice, Iggy. Who is this? I literally almost thought that was Amber. Angela but I was like hold up you're not a chef you don't work here but that's somebody else but you know hey it's all good oh who is she oh uh, feet uh feet wait feetia feetia oh she looks so pretty oh I like those shoes oh that's very nice but at least Bob is doing his thing look at him all so confident and very happy he's so happy and I feel so happy for him but let's gonna bring Angela here so we have something to do at least. Cause you know, hey, maybe Angela came here to surprise Bob saying, hey, I'm here. Let's grab some lunch together for a little bit. And she's so happy and like very silly too. Like she is on, on a, ooh, she is feeling it today. But since they went here together, I guess we can go and grab some foodie foods here since it's still like, you know. Whatever. But we're going to get some uh, spaghetti for a little bit. And probably once Bob is done with the class, which probably are done around like maybe one or two, most likely. Most likely 2 p.m. is my guess. But we're going to just grab some lunch here while we're still here. And probably just kind of have Bob sit here for a while. Do you ever feel like your sims are always doing something on their own? Like they have a mind of their own? Yeah, this is one of the moments because Bob decided to do a research and debate type of topic about are gnomes cute or creepy with Angela? With Angela, who has no knowledge about researching or debating about anything, let alone politics about gnomes. But she's trying her best, which is totally okay. 
This kind of helps Bob anyway for his career, because he needs to level 8 in the research and debate skill anyway, which I don't know which level he's at right now. Oh, he's at level 7 at 16%. Nowhere near close, which is totally okay. But we probably should head home soon since Iggy's back at home. Maybe this will be like the day he actually got his, you know, what's it called? His acceptance letter? Because I haven't really seen him being stressed out besides being low on fun. And he met some new people at school, made some new friends, but also kind of like had fun there. So maybe this like is the day he gets his acceptance letter, but maybe we probably should come here. That's what my guess is. We might need to come here and see if our scholarships came in. Oh, Lucas Munch is here? Oh, wow. Maybe we can be his friend. I will definitely probably invite him over, have Angela get to know um, Lucas here. And then we'll invite him over. Because it looks like he goes to Brychester, which is kind of great. But I wonder what his major is. Oh, those eyebrows gotta go. Those caterpillar eyebrows got to go. Lucas, I was gonna talk to you. Hold up, come back here. Oh, he's leaving. I can always summon him later. It's okay. But I guess we should probably head back home and uh, probably get ourselves situated because we need to know if we got accepted into our dream school of Brychester University or Foxbury because Iggy doesn't really care where he goes, but he just wants to go to college and kind of get that, you know, higher education at least because he needs something to get away from, you know, his parents, his life, Angela, like it's weird because the fact that Bob and Angela are going to get married and then Angela's going to be um, Iggy's stepmom, which brings in Daniel and Mary Sue and Lilith, and also bringing in the picture of Eliza's new baby and whoever the father of the baby is. Like, it's going to be a whole mixture of things and it's going to be weird knowing the fact that they're going to have an extended family, but it's going to also be kind of cool at the same time. So hopefully we got accepted. But Iggy, where are you at? Oh, he's watching TV. What are you watching anyway? Oh, the Civic Public Access Channel. Okay, that makes sense. But let's go ahead and get the mail. Hopefully we get something good new. He's very energized. This is very relaxing. He's very happy. Ooh, he's definitely like feeling the vibes. And he's definitely feeling himself. Like he's really, really excited. Hopefully this is the good news. Ooh. Oh my gosh, what is it? What is it? Clicked everything from the mailbox. What was it? What was it? Oh. Oh my gosh. Wait. Oh. Angela's. What? Wait, why did Angela get one? Why does she need an acceptance letter for... That makes no sense. Oh, I waited so long. Oh man, I got accepted for nothing. Well, you can do your homework. Why not? But Angela, I guess you have to open up your acceptance letter. Read it. See what you get. Well, of course you got to accept to both places because she's she's already graduated, which I can definitely show you guys what um, what their stuff looks like. But I guess we got to wait a couple of days until Iggy gets his acceptance letter so we know which what school he got into. But when Bob and Eliza graduated from university, um, they got, you know, their degrees and they also got some pictures taken, which is really cool. I just realized we have this in here. I'm selling that. What is this? Selling that too. We don't need that. Well, hold up. Maybe we do. We'll keep it for later. Well, actually, let's put it. On, let's put it on the floor. Let's put it right there. But they were able to get their degrees and everything, which is really, really nice. So I'm gonna put it like I don't know where to put it in here because I literally filled the walls with everything I could do like possibly. So I guess we can put their pictures like right here for Bob. And then one for Angela. Like, look at them. Doesn't that look nice? Because you got Bob over here with his graduating portrait. And with Angela. I don't know if Bob was able to get, like, a good, you know. I mean, it looks the same. It looks really nice. But they got their diplomas, too. Which I'm going to put them upstairs because that's where I usually want to put them. I might put it in their office. Yeah. So we'll put Bob's against above his desk. Uh, that's Angela's. This is Bob's. So Bob was able to get the um, a degree with language and literature. He's a mega University of Bachelor, Brychester diploma, 
and he got with honors, which is really, really great. But as for Angela, she got without honors, but as an art history major. Ooh. Oh, wait, we can talk about our, our achievement. Oh, let's talk about it. And actually, no, we're going to have Bob wake up and talk about his achievement to Iggy and like how much it means to, to Bob that Iggy gets like a very good, you know, um, acceptance letter and being in like school and having a good degree and a good, you know, job afterwards. So maybe this will kind of help, you know, Iggy and also Bob both ways. I don't really know. What do you mean you can't get to over there? Oh, doesn't mean I have to move it to like an actual wall. Okay, great. Fine. I got to move them now. Fine. Well, will talk about our achievement to Iggy. Yeah. But Iggy, let's have you stop doing your homework for a little bit. And then we'll have you do things. But apparently, I don't know why. But he's a part of the Renegades. That's interesting. They're all young adults, except Iggy. Iggy is the only teenager. But that's just weird. But what is he going to say? What is he going to say? I'm so excited. Does he not? I don't think he really cares. I think like... Or maybe he's like very happy about it. I think with Iggy, he's like it's a very hit or miss of like what he thinks and what he doesn't think at the same time. Like he knows that his father is doing really good, but he also doesn't know his father as much. But let's check our application process since we're in here anyway. Hello, Iggy, you're gonna go. Thank you. So hopefully we'll like know something by tomorrow. That's what my my goal is. Something by tomorrow we'll be able to get something at least. Hmm. Iggy, what are you going to get? Oh, application is still going through the system. Check back soon. Oh, check back soon. That's not, that is not what I wanted to hear at all. But let's check our, our scholarship application process and see what's what. So it's that. I'm pretty sure we might hear something by tomorrow for our scholarships, most likely. Oh, we've been awarded for the Super Scout. Oh, good. Wait, I can't get you out of my mind lately. Want to go on a date and get some dinner at the old Salt House restaurant? <gasps> we should. Ooh, look at Iggy being all fancy in his nice little suit and, tie, suit and tie, but not with the right shoes, but that's okay. But Iggy looks so dapper and very fancy. With... Who are you? Jay, that is a very interesting fashion choice, along with you. Oh, these are very sun these are very interesting. But we're here at the old Salt House restaurant with our girlfriend Genesis. So we're gonna go probably request a table. But this will probably be like the last thing we'll do for tonight before we head back home. Because it is you know, it is school night, but it's gonna be the weekend. And we're out and about, but it's totally fine. Like totally, totally fine. I'm gonna boost up his fun a little bit. But look at him being all fancy. Maybe, you know, Iggy could probably actually exchange promise rings to, to Genesis. <gasps> look at Genesis. Isn't she look so pretty in her nice pink dress? Oh, she looks so pretty. Oh, I'm kind of glad I dressed her <laughs> when I did. Because it was interesting when I forgot to do it last time. And I think they're the only ones here too. Oh, no, no. No, it's just them two, and then Zoe Patel and that guy. And I guess this other lady, too. And her date. So hopefully they'll bring our food soon. Oh, wait. They're arriving with our food. Ew. What do we order? Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Sir, where's your manager? Are you the manager? You're a mermaid, though, but are you the manager? You're the host. Where is the manager? I'm going to complain. You dropped our food on the floor. Oh, where's the manager? Oh, can, wait, restaurant. Wait, a deliver. No. Mm -mm. We're going to, yeah, deliver an insult to Lilith Vator. Because why not? Wow, savagery. Are we going to get our food this time? I don't think we will because, like, it's been a while since we, like, ordered anything. But hopefully this is like actually a complimentary meal. This time you don't drop it. Thank you. We got fish and chips. Oh my goodness. And it's normal quality. Okay, that's fine. At least we have our food now. At least we got our food. Because man, I would have been furious. You got a wrench and then she got coffee. Yeah, she should have got coffee at 1 a.m. in the morning. They are way past their bedtime. 
especially Iggy's breaking curfew. But I, you know, here's my thing about parenthood. I really wish we got like police or if you were out out of like after your curfew, you would get like arrested like you could do in The Sims 3 and you like you'll get grounded or whatever. So maybe whenever Iggy comes back home from like this weird date that he's been on all day, this should probably like, allow him to be, you know, a little bit, uh, you know, grounded, grounded. But I think what I'm going to probably do is I'm going to go ahead and actually wrap up this lovely episode here today. And, you know, I did say it was going to be the last part, but um, I'm going to record another part because there's so much more to, like, to uncover, but also, like, to explain. Because I've been recording for over an hour and I have so much editing that I have to do. But still, there will be a next part. This will not be the final part because by Iggy's face, he has a lot of explaining to do. He's going to get accepted to either Brychester or Foxbury or, you know, who really knows? Who really knows? So let me know down in the comments below of what do you guys think? Do you think he's going to get accepted to Brychester or Foxbury? Because I really don't know where he's going to go and like what his path is going to be like. And to be honest, I'm scared but also excited. So hopefully we'll find out tomorrow or on Sunday. Plus his birthday's on Monday as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye.